everybody, it's me. As you can see, I'm not in my studio right now. I'm actually on my way up to the North Carolina and Tennessee mountains. Apologize ahead of time for the wind noise that you're hearing in the background. You can see behind me, I've got my little window vents installed right now. I'm on my way to a place called Deals Gap in a road known as the Tail of the Dragon. I've been on the Tail of the Dragon before, but this time it's a little different. Apparently this is some sort of fur con. I don't really know where they're going to hold it, because up around Fontana Dam, there's only really one lodge, and it's not set up to be really good for a fur con. So, we'll see how this goes. I registered for this event. I paid $30. It's up to $40 now. Not really sure what that money's going to. I kind of got a very vague answer when I asked. I was really hoping this was going to be a group of furries driving their cars on the tail of the dragon, but it seems a lot of people are under the presumption that this event, even though it says dragon takeover, has nothing to do with driving the tail of the dragon. So much so as people are getting offended that car furs are talking about driving the tail of the dragon in the group chat. Another concern I'm having with this event is the weather. Looking at the schedule, it seems like pretty much everything is happening outdoors with no sort of backup for indoor events if it rains. Now this event runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm only able to make it Saturday because I learned about this event kind of last minute from a car friend of mine. I did bring Glitch for the fursuit photo, but I only brought his partial. His body is a little too cumbersome to be carrying around in the car especially when I'm wanting to go down the tail of the dragon. I don't need a whole whole lot of extra weight just flopping around my back seat. I really hope this is going to be fun. I'm just concerned about, seems like a lack of planning and a lack of thought in this event from my perspective. I don't necessarily mean to be negative, but this event seems like it was kind of half cooked. and The amount they're charging for admission seems a little high. When I asked about what the admission was going towards, I was just told it was going back into the con. They didn't exactly express what that meant. Whether that meant towards food, towards lodging. I'm really hoping to be pleasantly surprised by this event, but I'm holding my judgment until I see what's up. I'm currently driving on US 441. I'm about an hour and a half away from this event. The total length of this trip is expected to be about three and a half hours according to the GPS. Uh, it seems like it's going to be pretty accurate. We'll see once we get off of 441 and get onto some of the smaller, more technical mountain roads. Some people just granny drive through there, and some people like me like to put the hammer down. So, <laughs> cute little town. This is Dillard, Georgia. I am almost out of Georgia. It was really overcast this morning. It looks like it's clearing up a little bit. Hopefully it clears up a bit more by the time we get up to Fontana Dam. Oh, there's a billboard for the Great Smoky Mountain Railway. I'm hoping to go back there this year. They've got their steam train up and running again. And anybody who knows me knows I have a thing for steam trains. Hey, hey, we're crossing the state line. Hello, North Carolina. And goodbye, Slowpoke. Well, in North Carolina, way back in the hills, lived my old pappy and he had him a steel. He threw the wild out until the sun went down. He filled him a jug, then he passed it around. Mighty, mighty pleasing, my pappy's corn squeeze. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm about to turn off the US 441 and turn on to some fun mountain roads. I'll see you at the event. Bye. So I got to this event about 10:55. Now, if you look at the schedule, it says that from 10:30 to 11 o'clock is the photo lineup at the dam. None of the pictures are supposed to be taken at that point. But when I got there at 10:55, they're finishing up the photos, the group photos, the first seat photos. Now. It would have been one thing if I hadn't communicated to the group and said, hey, I'm going to be there at or just after 11. But I sent that probably about 8.30 that morning. I would have been there much sooner, but my car battery had died and I had to replace that before I could go anywhere. I pulled up just as they were finishing up the group photo, which was a little frustrating, but okay, whatever. Oh well, I can live with that. It's not a big deal. After that was a group photo of people with their cars I haven't seen the group photo of people with cars I wasn't really able to get a parking spot so I tried to park next to everybody kind of at an angle because there wasn't a parking spot where I parked 
Hopefully it was good enough for the picture. I don't even know if I'm in it right now. I'll have to wait for that photo to come up. After that, they put all the first seaters on the back of a K truck. A lot of the first seaters get blocked out. If you look at the pictures, all you can see is the tips of my ears and my feet paws, which were sitting behind the K truck because they were so big, they were concerned about me taking up too much space. Fair enough. After the photos at the dam, we all went back to Fontana Village for lunch at the Wildwood Grill. The Wildwood Grill was not aware of just how big the group was going to be, and they'd only set up a few round tables for us. And that wasn't quite enough for the large group that we had. So a lot of people ended up sitting outside, and a lot of people just had to sit just in completely different areas altogether. After this launch event was furry D&D, and I'm not big onto D&D, so I went with some other furs down at the tail of the dragon. Now for this event to be considered a dragon takeover, it was kind of frustrating that there wasn't a group run to the tail of the dragon. That's a missed opportunity if you ask me. Get everybody with their fur cars and run down the dragon together? Seems like a lot of fun to me. It wasn't even in the schedule. Now don't get me wrong, I had an absolute blast on the tail of the dragon. Went riding with some friends and some friends of friends. I'm gonna throw some footage in now. Yeah, as you can see, had an absolute blast driving the tail of the dragon. Can't wait for those photos to come up on Killboy's website. A lot of the other events for Saturday were ones that really didn't appeal to me. Other than the putt-putt events and the D&D events, there wasn't anything planned until about 8 o'clock at night, which is renting a bonfire pit to roast hot dogs and marshmallows. Sounds fun. See, I'd already had a wreck on the dragon that day. Not in my car. I was riding with a friend of a friend. We weren't even going fast. We were maybe doing 35, 40 miles an hour. We hit a curve, 
it upset the back end of the car. It went too far one way. He tried to correct it. It went too far the other way. We slid off into a tree. Fortunately, that tree kept us from going down a cliff. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. But I'm not going to include that in this video out of respect for the driver. So, could have stuck around for the marshmallows. I probably would have enjoyed that. But, to be honest, I just wanted to go home. I was tired. I was sore. Now, remember how I said I paid $30 for a badge? I never found that badge. I have no idea where the registration was. So, I kind of ended up halfway ghosting the event. And I know people who just didn't pay at all and ghosted the entire event. I ended up talking to a lot of people at this event about the event as a whole. And a lot of people kind of shared the same sentiment that it didn't necessarily work as a con. Now, I understand this is this event's second year running, but it really needs to get a more concrete plan. First off, you need to run by the schedule. If you say the first suit photo is at a certain time, it needs to be at a certain time. And you need to pay attention to the group chat if you've got a group chat. And there was a lot of furs, particularly the young furs, saying that this was their first fur con and they were kind of disappointed because it wasn't what they expected. It wasn't a good example of a fur con. It was a fun enough event, but it wasn't a good example of a fur con and I feel like that is where this event made a mistake. They should never have called it a fur con. The Fontana Lodge is not suitable for a convention at all, especially one that's a furry convention. There's no place for dealers. There's no place for artists. There's no place for dances, which are three very, very concrete things in a furry fandom. I think next year they need to rebrand, say that they're for meat, not a fur con, to help adjust people's expectations coming into it. Now, charging admission, that's fine. I would personally like to see maybe a portion of it go to some sort of charity, maybe towards Tennessee rebuilding roads something that would deal with the tail of the dragon Fontana Dam or something in the area even if it's just wildlife conservation I would really like to see that in future events Now I'm trying not to be too hard on this group because this was their second year but They really set up expectations from the way that they branded everything that they failed to follow on. I feel like this event could have been done differently in a way that would have been more fun for all parties involved. Heyo everybody, post edit glitch here. I wanted to take a moment and address a few things about this event. While I saw a lot of people complaining about the event as a whole, I saw just as many if not more people thoroughly enjoying themselves. So this review isn't necessarily how you might feel if you're attending this event. I personally did not enjoy myself. But that doesn't mean that anybody else coming in would not enjoy themselves. I really would like to see this event grow into what the creators of this event are picturing in their heads. My concern stands that this isn't necessarily the best venue, but there isn't really a lot of options in this area either. I personally believe the furry community does not have enough options for car meets and other things catering to furries that are into cars. I would like to run an event on the Tale of the Dragon as well. However, it won't be a convention. It would be more like a fur meet and greet and then a convoy run through Tale of the Dragon, through the Chair Hollow Skyway, maybe the Devil's Triangle, some of the other well-known roads around here. I don't do this as an intention to step on the toes of anybody creating this event. I just personally would like to see more car fur events. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. So, to the people that made this event... Congratulations. It looks like it turned out to be pretty successful. I hope your future events continue to be just as successful. I feel like maybe I didn't attend this event with the right mindset, and I will probably come back again to reevaluate this event. That being said, that's about it for this video. Sorry that this was a little more negative than most of my videos, and I'm sorry that it's been a while since I've made a video. It's been very hard to come up with content because I'm trying to stay away from producing video game content. After I got some copyright strikes, to be honest, it kind of spooked me. So, that being said, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Keep hopping.